Hey, <laughs> my name is Elizabeth, Lizard or Liz. Um, welcome to the very first actual video of my channel. <laughs> um, I have attempted to make videos before and never got very far with it, but I'm actually motivated this time, so anyway, um, this will be the first installment of my series Growing Up an Adult. I don't really want to focus a lot on the past for this series, but I figured you could use a little bit of context, so watch me unpack and set up my room while I tell you a little bit about myself. <laughs> Here we go. I grew up in your hometown, at least began to grow. Just kidding. <laughs> I moved around way too much to actually grow up in somebody's hometown. But, bonus points if you know what musical that song is from. <laughs> Doesn't count if you lived with me when I was in high school. Anyway, um, actually, I grew up in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, better known as Mormons. Very high demand, strict rules, religion. For example, you can see me wearing shorts and a tank top. That would not be allowed if I was still Mormon. But as a kid, I very much was a follower followed the rules, made choices that I knew other people expected me to make, didn't really have my own personality, tried really hard to not think about anything deeper than what made me feel good, or what others told me made me feel good. Whew, this is a downer. Um, I didn't do very well in school. My first grade teacher was very neglectful and ended up causing a lot of really low self-esteem in me, so that's fun. Up until I was probably around 11, I'd never let myself go very deep into who I was, which is why I need to figure that out now. But there was this one time where I was watching some behind-the-scenes stuff that awoke something within me and ever since then I've known that I need to be an actor. That is my path in life. <laughs> I've definitely got some healing to do before then, but one day you'll see me on the big screen. While I was in high school I ended up meeting this guy Andrew, and right from the start, I could tell that he thought differently, he spoke differently from anybody else that I knew of, and he made me really feel like I mattered, like who I am is important instead of who everybody else sees me as. And that was very attractive. After high school, we ended up dating and eventually got married way too young, <laughs> which is pretty typical for Utah Mormons. Um, right away, we could tell something was off. You know, church was supposed to be our community, and the area that we moved into just wasn't very friendly toward us, so it was difficult for us to actually attend, which ended up being a good thing. It let us step away from the culture for a little while and see what was really going on, and realized there were a lot of not great teachings. <laughs> And that led us to leaving Mormonism. And honestly, that's one of the best decisions I've ever made. 
I'm so much more free now. I judge a hell of a lot less. I'm just a better person now. Um, through all of the deconstruction of the teachings of Mormonism, I ended up deciding to explore what I really like and who I really am, and that led to discovering that I'm a lesbian. Surprise! (laughs) That was about a year ago, and since then, Andrew and I lived together for a long time, and then now I have moved out, and I live in Seattle. And it's crazy. You know, I'm trying to think of this as my college experience without actually going to college. Because this is what a lot of college students go through. They move out of their parents' house. They have to figure out how to provide for themselves and be responsible with their time. And there's a lot of growing and learning who you are. And that's what I'm doing right now. And that's why I'm doing this series Growing Up an Adult. This is where I'm learning who I am. I'm creating a new person from scratch. And that person is me. And I get to decide what that means. And (laughs) it's terrifying. And it's exciting. Hopefully I can help some people who go through the same thing in the future. Um, I know this video is going to be pretty boring to watch, probably, but I hope eventually I become interesting enough for people to follow along in this journey. But, in the meantime, my room is done. And this is the room. There's baby Sedna on the floor playing. She's already got her toys all over the place. But we've got bookshelf, some art I put up, my bed with a dinosaur. You can see my vision board back there. Got I'm gonna put a desk there eventually. Got that. I ended up hanging up some command hooks to put up jackets. Got a little bit of art. Map of Seattle because I don't know what I'm doing. Got my pride flags box of boxes to be recycled. Yeah, this is it. Not really sure what I was expecting, but um, I'm happy with the result. I live here now. (laughs) Sedna, I don't have an outro planned at all yet. Um... So I guess for now, it's thank you for watching. Uh, If you came over from TikTok, that's awesome. Thank you. And if you know me in real life, (laughs) hi. My goodness. Um, Hope you come back for more. I'm planning on doing this weekly, so hopefully I can stick to that. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. (laughs) Bye. This is, uh, Editing Lizard. Um, I realized I didn't say the whole, like, like and subscribe thing. But, um, I never subscribe to a channel after only watching one video, so I'm not gonna ask you to do that. Yeah. Gosh, I'm so awkward. <laughs> oh well. Just gonna pretend I already have an audience.